Well, bones are constantly being remodeled. Uh, the osteo, there are two basic cell types. The osteoblasts lay down new bone, and it's the osteoclasts that destroy the bone. Uh, they do, uh, typically, about a 10% of your skeleton is remodeled in any given year. And uh, so over the course of a decade, uh, one's skeleton is completely replaced with brand new bone. So this process is ongoing during, you, during everybody's lifespan. Uh, it's, it's physiologic. Uh, but it can get out of control under pathologic conditions. And uh, osteoporosis is one example of the outcome where there's excessive bone loss. Uh, and another uh, good example is uh, tumor metastases in bone. And, and this is a situation where uh, tumor cells originating from different sources, uh, and it's common in breast cancer, uh, the cells, the tumor cells metastasize to the bone and cause excessive bone loss. So what we, what we have done, this is a work carried out by a master's student in our lab, Ryan Shug, and what Ryan was doing was looking at uh, different lipid signaling kinases that are present in cells. And, and I, to, just to give some background is that, is that there's many different uh, signaling elements of bone cells, uh, and we didn't know, uh, while we knew that, uh, that the compound is called phosphatidyl and inositol 3 kinase, PI3 kinase, and, and we knew that the osteoclasts have PI3 kinase, that's been well established. But there are actually four different types, uh, and they're present in different cell types with different functions. So what Ryan's project was, uh, was to, to use a battery of different uh, chemical blockers to identify which one was present in osteoclasts and, and had a specific role. One particular isoform, so the term is uh, phosphatidyl and inositol 3 kinase delta isoform. Uh, regulated the cytoskeletal, the nature of osteoclasts. The value of this is that this is a chemical that first, it, it, it's a little more selective, so rather than uh, phosphatidyl and osteol 3 kinase is present in all cell types, or, or most cells in the body. This particular isoform is present in, largely in cells of hematopoietic origin, and osteoclasts are derived from, the bone, from cells of bone marrow. So, so this uh, allows us to, show, to have some selective actions. And, and we believe that this is going to be helpful in situations where uh, people have tumor metastases in bone because it's going to allow you to block the bone resorption selectively. And, and that's actually one of the targets. Uh, so, so patients that are undergoing therapy for breast cancer are often on uh, uh, compounds to block bone resorption. This is a new tool that may offer some selective actions.